A translation of a graph involves a shift of every point horizontally left and right or vertically. So in this case, if we add a k after the x squared, then that means that we're going to be moving up or down. So if we have this, y equals x squared plus 1, we've actually moved our turning point up 1, so we're not on the origin anymore. If we don't have that plus 1, it's essentially saying plus 0, so we're down here at our turning point being the origin. And if we have minus 1, then that point on the y-axis is minus 1. That's how we can move it up or down. The axis of symmetry for all of these is x equals 0, because it's on the y-axis. The y-intercept for all of these is k. So to move horizontally, you're going to get something that looks like this. It's going to be in brackets, squared. If your, if your x minus h, where h looks like a minus 1, you're going to actually end up moving to the right. And the opposite, if your h is plus 1, you're going to move to the left. And I think of that as if I were going to replace x and stay on y equals 0, I would have to put a positive 1 in the place of x. If I were going to get this to move to the left, I would have to put a negative 1 on x for y to still equal to 0. The turning point in both of these cases is whatever that is, x, uh, 0. And the axis of symmetry is whatever this is. So if we've moved x to 1, this is our new axis of symmetry, x equals 1. We move to negative 1, our axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1. The turning point form of a quadratic equation is this. So this, if that is positive, it curves up, so it makes this concave upward graph. Um, if this is involved and we have a minus something, we're going to go to the right. If we're going to have a plus something, we're going to go to the left. And this is up or down. So if it's positive, we're higher. If it's negative, we're lower. So the axis of symmetry is, as I said, h, whatever we are on the x. And the turning point is wherever it is um, that that turning point reaches on the y-axis. So to put that into practice, our turning point here is going to be 2, negative 3, because we put a 2 in to get that to equal 0, and y equals negative 3 when x is 2. So even though it looks like minus 2, think of it as I'm definitely moving to the right, because I'd have to put a positive 2, which I did in the place of x, and negative 3, which is indicated here by the y-intercept. And then it's not negative, so it's going to be concave upward. So I'll show you a few. So for this one, for a, y equals x squared plus 2, I know that I'm going to be on, uh, my axis of symmetry is the uh, x equals 0, because I haven't moved left or right. This one it's not going to be, but this one hasn't moved left or right. So I'm going to touch on, I've moved up to, so it's simply that, oh my gosh, it's simply that, It doesn't matter, if we're just sketching it like this, it doesn't matter that we get it accurate, but it, get, it matters that we've got 0, 2 as our turning point. That's A. For B, I've got y equals negative x squared minus 1. So I'm going to be on the downside. I'm going to cross at minus 1. And because it's negative, it's going to look upside down. What is, what is the... So for example, C... We've got positive, but it's x minus 3, so I'm going to make that. I'm still on the origin because I don't have a plus anything here. So I'm still on the x, 1, 2, 3, and it's up because it's not negative, it's positive. So we are at 3, 0. That's our turning point. And for d, we do have a negative there. And we have plus 2, so we're moving to the left by 2. We don't have anything out here, so we're not going up or down. So that is negative 2, 0. Looks like that. Looks like, ah, oh, what did I do wrong? I just told you it was negative. So it's, if it's negative, I mean, this is negative 2 as well. But we are going down 
because that's negative there. And I'm going to sketch these two puppies that do a bit of both. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about what my numbers are. I'm going to show the y-intercept and the coordinates of the turning point. I can figure out from here, this is positive, so it's going to go up. If that's minus 2, I'm going to move to the right, to 2, negative 1. That's 2, that's negative 1. So that's actually my point there, and it's positive, so it's going to look like that. That turning point is 2, negative 1, and I'm going to write that this one is the graph of y equals x minus 2 squared minus 1. And then for b, I can use different colors, can I? Why not? Is it going to like that color? Then for b, I've got a negative, and if I've got 3 plus 2, I'm going to put negative 3, so 1, 2, 3 to the negative, and plus 2, so 1, 2, so I've got negative 3, positive 2, and because it's negative in front of those brackets, then it's going to be downward. That's basically it.